59 News. We'll stay on that, and that's it. First at 4, Live at 5, though, starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59, Live at 5. Right now, Live at 5, President Trump just declared a national emergency to free up funding to fight the coronavirus. That decision gives FEMA $50 million to be used for testing, among other things. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. This new declaration is our top story, Live at 5. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Beer Shalad May, in for Fanchon this evening. This declaration from the president could allow for a lot of things. States can now request medical supplies and vaccinations with 75% of the cost being covered by the federal government. It also gives Human Health and Services Secretary, Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar, uh, the chance to waive some health laws so that doctors can treat patients across state lines through telemedicine. The administration is also offering hospitals to free up, free up hospital beds for patients who may become infected. In furtherance of the order, I'm urging every state to set up emergency operation centers effective immediately. I know. President Clinton uh, actually invoked the Stafford Act for a public health crisis back in the year 2000. The president also laid out a new system for testing people who think they have the virus. He said more than a million kits will be distributed next week and five million within a month. Now, the president said he hopes to release a list of locations for testing. He ex is expected to do that by Sunday. Many of them will be set up just like drive throughs in places that you already frequent. So here's how the process should work. The administration is partnering with Google to screen people who may be exhibiting symptoms. People can answer questions online. Then, if a doctor suspects that they may be ill, they will receive directions to the closest drive through testing location. So retailers like Walmart and Walgreens will be opening up their parking lots specifically for that. The president says results should be ready within days. The administration also plans to waive interest on student loans and store up oil to cut prices. All of this information will be posted online. Something else the president discussed is whether or not he may be even experiencing symptoms based on people that he's seen in the last few days. He said he does not have any symptoms, but most likely will be getting tested. Well, today's announcement came just before trading closed on Wall Street. Some good news today. The Dow shot back up nearly 2,000 points after a very tumultuous week. Both the Nasdaq and S&P 500 ended the day in green. Well, tonight, we are taking your questions about the coronavirus to state leaders at the highest level. Our Kayla Sullivan sat down with Governor Eric Holcomb and State Health Commissioner Dr. Christina Box to determine what's next and how Hoosiers can stay safe. Governor Eric Holcomb says emergencies like COVID-19 are exactly why the state keeps a hefty rainy day fund. 